Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ryugo Zrar. Um, here with November, or not November, my bad, December's videos. Um, I know some of you have been asking about my keyboard and to try and make my stream a little bit more quiet. And while I will kind of try to reduce the spam, I can't really say much about my keyboard just due to my mic sensitivity. But moving on, I know most people prefer to see the builds done against an actual player. But what I'm thinking of for this month is, since the meta is so different and a lot of people seem to be struggling, I'll try to do the basic builds here against uh, the AI, and then I'll try to get later videos uploaded of live gameplay um, later on this week. I am done my exam, so I have a little bit more time. So with this build, this is going to be a TVP 2 base all-in. This is actually a very interesting build. It was made recently by Kier. It's a 2 base 5 racks all-in. Oh, I feel like I'm kind of losing my voice here. Anyways, with this build, the main things to look out for are just denying scouting and doing the timing right. So we're going to open 14 depot, 16 racks, 16 gas. So standard racks first TVP. And we're just going to focus on our early game. Make sure that if you don't have the habit of setting st uh, like camera hotkeys, it's very important that you start learning soon. And if you use F2 a lot and you're trying to get out of that habit, one really nice tip I can recommend for new players is move your F2 key to a further key. For me, I think F5 is a great key because it doesn't remove the ability to use F2, but it removes the incentive of using it. And if you do small things like these, it'll eventually uh, train you to not use it. So. After we throw down our CC, we're going to want to get a 20 depot. This is Reaper, then Reactor. Um, one really important thing with this build is that each of your mules are placed on the closest patch as possible. So here, here, here. Reactor. We're against the AI, so I'm just going to leave the Reaper right here. And we're going to throw down barracks number one. We're going to send the depot SCV back. And we're going to just wait till we're 16 out of 16 here. Once we're at that, we're then going to start rallying our SCVs. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So the next rallied SCV is going to make a barracks right here. Then another SCV rallied here. We're going to make two ex-marines as soon as we can. Again, just looking over our bases, as I've told you guys before in many of my other videos. Just look at those blue bars. Also, these SCVs, when they're done, they're going to head on over to the natural. So we're going to start our orbital up. One more barracks. Tech lab right away. And two marines here. And from here, just focus on your production. This build's really chill. So there isn't too much early on go uh, too much going on early. Maybe for microing your Reaper, it's a little bit more intense. Um, the main things to keep in mind here are just don't let this build be scouted. Make sure these two barracks are rallied somewhere like here. Okay, from your tech lab, we're going to start making Marauders. From these extra two barracks, we're only going to be making Marines. We're going to start actually a depot right here. We're actually going to skip making combat shields with this build, which is surprising, but you're going to float gas for a while. And the reason for this is because you actually want the minerals really badly so you can afford marauders. So we're going to be a little bit capped here. My depot was a little bit late. You want that at 37. I did mine at 39. We're going to drop two, though, after the first one. We're going to do marine, marine, marauder. And again, dropping mules on the closest patch as possible. Remember, you can only have one mule per patch, so make sure you're keeping in mind. You can make SCV still. Actually, we don't need them. Marine, Marine, Marauder. And right here, with this next wave at 420, you want to start moving out with this build. So, Depot. Back to Mining. I like to head towards the third base, typically, just to make the path a little, a little unorthodox. But you're going to rally your units here, and we're going to head to the third base. Behind this, I like to throw down a Factory. Keep making your units. I like to grab two more gases. Constant depot. Remember to keep making units. Whoops. And once all of our units are assembled here, 
we should be hitting just before 505. Or at least arriving there. So you can see now our stim pack is upgraded. We're going to go in with our units here. And we're just going to crush the Protoss army here. Remember to keep making depots. You can go back to two. As soon as you kill their army on the ground, you want to actually stim up right to the main base. This is all in, so the sooner you can get up here and you can just kind of depower these buildings, the better. We can go add-on, add-on. Actually, we can leave it naked because we want to get that starport first. So we're going to do starport. Reactor. Gas geyser. Keep focusing on your SCVs. Back to one depot. Unit, unit. We can do our add-ons now. Keep making those marauders. Keep making those SCVs. Put the sound back on. And yeah, that's that's the build. It's a pretty straightforward build. Um, I haven't done much experimenting with this build, but one thing I've seen is Kier really likes to do it in TVP. He beat Deer pretty easily and all of his ladder opponents pretty easily. I would say the main criteria is um, if it is scouted and you think they're going to go for like a hard kind of like blind hold, one thing you can do is you can actually pull all the SCVs from your natural. That's something Kier did in his game against Deer in the Alima League this week. Uh, I don't remember the exact Alima League number, but that is a route you can perhaps take. We're going to actually drop a depot right here. We can go double eBay behind this. And yeah, that's that's the build. Any questions you guys have, leave it in the comments. I'll try to get a live gameplay video done of me doing this soon, but we'll, we'll see when that gets done. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback or any questions you would like to ask, uh, let me know. And something new I've been doing is I like to leave the replays for my videos in my discussion or about section. It's, it's one of the two. So if you're ever trying to see what I did in the videos, just go ahead and check that out. Anyways, thank you for watching. Take care.